Hi, occasionally I'm John Landis and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to look at the film that brought Abbott Costello back with a roar in 1948 after the war. It, uh, their career had been going like this and Universal decided let's put them with the monsters. So this is Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. So, Frankenstein monster, Lou Costello, that's about as good as it gets. Universal took two of their assets, put them together, and no one was prepared for the extraordinary success. It brought Bud and Lou back big time. Essentially, burlesque comics. They had a guy named John Grant who worked on every movie they did, and they would take classic burlesque routines and just put them in the pictures. Sometimes they worked brilliantly, the moving candle thing here. This is an old burlesque routine, but it worked fantastic. Uh, sometimes, like in In Society, which is my favorite, the movie stops for 15 minutes. Ow, he really got hit there by Glenn Strange. And they do the Susquehanna Hat Company routine, and then when they're finished, the movie starts again. It has nothing to do with the plot. Bela Lugosi, Glenn Strange, Lon Chaney Jr. What's cool about this movie is the monsters are treated seriously. They are not made fun of, they are scary. It's hard to believe, but this picture scared people, really scared them. It's a wonderful story. They got to get the brain of an idiot to put in the Frankenstein monster so he could be controlled. Kind of like, you know, Cheney and Bush. There's uh, Lou, Glenn Strange. Bob Burns has in his house Glenn's boots and the new foam head. Jack Pierce used to build those makeups up piece by piece, and they brought in a guy to do it quicker with foam.